we can actually joke like, oh yeah, I remember <laughs> the days we couldn't eat and we didn't want to eat, but we had to eat. Oh, the hair loss. Oh, the weight gain. Oh, and, and we can laugh about it, you know? Yeah. And it felt like sisters in arms. Yeah. Wow. So first we started the, the charity, which was first for education. And then we went out to, um, to different uh, women's groups, to schools, colleges, um, companies, and just talked about it and encouraged women to be more proactive about their bodies. Um, not just the breast, but everything. Just how to, how to you know, know where your moles are, how to know if something's wrong, and if something's wrong, to do something about it, to don't just sit on it. I mean, you know, here they don't talk about it. It's like a taboo, nobody's... Uh... And I wanted to talk, you know, nobody's <laughs> asking me. And maybe it helped me. I'm the person I don't like to, some of the things I don't like to keep. Um, if women have any concerns or queries or questions, it could be anything. It could be, you know, where do I go to buy a wig? Or, you know, questions about prosthesis that maybe they want to ask the group. We can send out those emails to the group. So it's a kind of a, it's a great sort of communication network. So our Jalila is helping us to do is raise that awareness that, that we actually exist. It doesn't have to be sort of individual therapy with someone like myself, but the fact that there is a group, there are certain people um, that are available to them to talk through whatever that it is that they're going through. There's a lot of support available in terms of education and things like that, but still less about what people can actually go through. Just have a little think, just a little bit of an explore about what a group might involve or what it might involve to actually talk to someone on a one-on-one -on -one basis, just to share how you're feeling and getting that normalised.